Hey guys, Lego Empire bringing you guys another video today. Today we're doing Consider the Bricks episode 19, I think. But more importantly, what today's video is about is just discussing the topic of why I don't upload a lot of videos on the news or things that are happening with Lego Star Wars. Um, I honestly think it's a little overdone. A lot of other channels do it probably better than I do. And I like to condense my news into one video um, just because doing short little... Oops, Doing short little update videos really it boils down to like four or five extra minutes when I'd rather just lump it up at the end of the week of all the news and happenings that I hear about. So what importantly is happening right now? Well, um, the May the 4th promo actually got confirmed today, or leaked rather, um, all over the LEGO League Instagram and on Reddit and on a lot of other YouTube channels. You may have noticed that um, Aunt Baru's... Um, kitchen or the owen the lars homestead kitchen with aunt baru minifigure got announced or leaked and it's cool i think it's a really neat set i'm excited to see what it looks like but do i really think that it's gonna you know bust us bust the new territory i don't think it's anything to home right home about it's really neat we're getting a minifigure that's exclusive but I'm probably going to buy the Cantina, I'll be honest, because I've been waiting to buy it. But it's it's one of those things like, I'm excited for what this potentially could mean for next year. Um, more, more importantly, uh, like, if we get one this year, there's a better chance of us getting one next year. That'd be a lot better. And we could get a really cool exclusive Kenobi figure. We can get a new Mando figure. Uh, by that time, we'll also have the Cassie Andor show going, which starts this fall. So a lot more potential for the next year than there is this year, because they tied it kind of into A New Hope. But it's definitely really cool. Lego Instagram right there. Um, and so that's really that. As far And we also get the Beskar keychain, which was uh, announced maybe a week or two ago. But the one thing is, so it's like $50, $60 for the AT, uh, T -E, or ATRT. AT, God oh my goodness uh atst poly bag which you can get at walmart for like five dollars and or i think it's lego stores i don't think it's at walmart but it's like five ten bucks um and then at eighty dollars or ninety dollars you're getting the blue milk luke and then 160 dollars you get the lars homestead so you will have to spend a lot of money you know if you've been saving up for a ucs set or you haven't got moff gideon's cruiser or the atte and some battle packs or some snow trooper packs now would be the time to get them i'm personally probably gonna pick up the the cantina and i might pick up two or three of the 504 or not the 501st the 187th saber tanks i think they are i'll be picking up two or three of those just to cover my bases um as always, like you said, like I've told you guys before, it is Saber Tank May or um, Saber Tank Spring. Um, it is not May, it is April. And the last rumor I was going to go into, the one that I'm really excited about, is the one I just saw right here. And it's this photo right there. And without putting the image on screen for you, basically what it says is that the, or the ATTE that we are going to get this fall is coming this summer. And it's going to have an Obi-Wan minifigure. It's going to have a Phase 2 Cody, apparently. It's going to have a four 212 Attack Battalion Troopers. And it's going to have two Battle Droids. So, Cody, Obi-Wan, four figures. And five, six, seven, eight. It's going to have Obi-Wan, two Battle Droids, three, four, seven, eight. It's going to have eight figures. Which people don't count Battle Droids as figures. I don't know why math is hard. It is. But that's a lot of clones for an ATT. That's probably I think that's the most clones we've gotten with an ATT. Um, I think the last time we got a lot of clones in a large vehicle, like this it was a substantial amount. Was probably the Turbo Tank, the original. Um, but overall, I mean, it's definitely exciting. Uh, I believe it's going to be a uh, hundred and eighty dollars, a hundred and sixty dollars. That's the price point, or one hundred and fifty somewhere around there. Um, I think it's one sixty actually. But it's definitely interesting because that is a set that a lot of people are waiting for. I don't believe, I think it was confirmed already that we're not getting a gunship this fall. So, I mean, I don't really need another gunship. I have 
seven or six of them, but I would have liked more. Um, what else? That's really the only thing that's, like, super happening. I mean, over the next two weeks, we're going to have the Mando Starship come out, and we're going to have the Saber Tank release. Uh, we also have UCS Landspeeder on May the 4th. And that's about it. Um, you guys will get updates as I go through them. But as always, I've been Lego Empire. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you guys like. And, you know, let me know what you guys want, to, want me to go into next. Um, as always, I've been Lego Empire. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.